Okay, so now I've got my free body diagram and I want to analyze it using uh, Newton's second law. So here's my free body diagram. We said that to the right is positive and that's the way the object's accelerating. So we're going to make to the right our x-axis, which means this would be our y-axis. Now I have to find the x and y-axis with my free body diagram. I want to apply Newton's second law in the x-direction. So I look at what I've got here. Fa is positive because it's to the right, and we said to the right was positive. Force of friction is the other force in the x direction, and it's negative because it's in the other direction. And Newton's second law says all those forces will add up to ma, and that's our direction of acceleration. So this is the equation that governs my x direction. Looking at the y direction, well, we look at the y direction, we've got uh, we haven't defined, we defined to the right as positive, so we're going to use the regular y, uh, positive is up and negative is down. So Fn is going to be positive, and Fg is down, so it's going to be negative. Fn minus Fg is going to add up to zero, because we said it's accelerating to the right, so then it's not accelerating up or down, so this will always add up to zero. So if I look at this, I can quickly see that Fn must be equal to Fg. So I'm going to go over here and indicate that on my diagram. So now I've analyzed Newton's second law in the x direction and in the y direction, and here's what I've got. 